It's Wednesday, September 11th, and from WBHM News, I'm Richard Banks with today's headlines. U.S. Senator Tommy Tuberville puts another hold on a promotion in the top ranks of the military. Alabama's senior senator is blocking the promotion of an aide to Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. The nomination is for Lieutenant General Ron Clark, who Tuberville and other Republicans say did not quickly notify President Joe Biden when Austin was hospitalized earlier this year with complications from cancer treatment. Clark has been nominated to become commander of U.S. Army forces in the Pacific. Tuberville's hold comes a year after he came under intense criticism from colleagues in both parties for holding up hundreds of military promotions over a Pentagon abortion policy. A 9-11 memorial stair climb will be held this morning inside Coleman Coliseum on the University of Alabama campus. For the first time since the annual event began in 2018, a portion of the climb will be open to the public. The stair climb honors the first responders who gave their lives in the aid of others on September 11, 2001. The Tuscaloosa climb consists of 2,200 steps up and down, equivalent to the 110 floors of the World Trade Center. UA is a program sponsor on WBHM, but our news and business departments operate independently. And Francine is now a hurricane and is expected to strengthen to a Category 2 storm. While Francine is expected to make landfall in Louisiana this evening, it did move slightly eastward late yesterday. As a result, a tropical storm warning is now in effect for the Alabama coast. The storm is expected to move north and dump as much as four inches of rain on parts of the west half of Alabama beginning late tonight. The Birmingham area is expected to get about an inch and a half of rain and see wind gusts as high as 40 miles per hour. Rain is expected in central Alabama through Saturday. You'll find more news anytime at WBHM.org, and today marks the beginning of our fall membership drive. You can help support local, independent, fact-based journalism with your support. And when you do, thank you.